Assalamu alaikum and welcome back. We're going to now try and understand what the terminology of mole represents. So in chemistry, it actually has a meaning. and We're not talking about the animal. I think that's very obvious. And what we are talking about is a unit of measurement. The mole is a unit of measurement. And if you if you go on the internet, if you search up SI units, SI units, you will find mole as a unit for the measurement of uh, substances. So if you want to measure how much substance you have, how much material you have, then you could use the mole as a unit. And it is a frequently used uh, unit in chemistry. You might be thinking, okay, why don't we use grams instead? And why don't we use pounds instead? We do use those units as well, but those are units for mass. If you want to uh, measure the amount of substance that you have, we go for the mole. And to understand the mole, we need to first understand a prior concept, which you probably already know. So let's take a look at an example. So when I say one dozen, when I say one dozen, I think you understand that we're talking about 12. That's the number that a dozen represents. If I talk about a pair, I think you understand that it would mean two. And that would mean a pair actually means two. If I say one mole, now a mole represents a very, very big number. And you don't deal with such a big number at a regular in your regular life. We don't deal with such a big number in any form unless you're talking about an atomic level. So I think now you understand that because we're talking about atoms in chemistry, so we also use the terminology of a mole. And a mole represents this much or this many. It's a very big number. I, I don't even know how to speak this number out because it's such a big number. Uh, but what we do is we shrink this number down into a simpler form known as the scientific form. And this is that form. We, sh we accommodate the zeros in the 10 to the power of 23. And we'd move the decimals backwards. And now this is a very special number that we have. It's 6.02 into 10 to the power 23. Instead of writing this number over and over again, we can simply write this number. And this number is a very special number known as the Avogadro's number, also sometimes called the Avogadro's constant. So this number you need to cram, you need to memorize, you should know this number by heart. And uh, sometimes in the exam, they do provide this number, but even if they don't, you need to memorize this number. It's 6.02, 10 to the power 23. It's the Avogadro's number. And this is one mole. And what would this mean? So if I say, I have one mole of hair, hair, the hair on our head. So I mean this many strands of hair. This is what I'm trying to say. One mole of hair, or I could say 6.02, 10 to the power 23 strands of hair. Nobody actually says this because nobody actually has that many hair on their head. But we would have atoms at such a large scale. We would have this many atoms. That's why the mole is used for atoms mostly. It's not used in a regular way. If someone says, I have a mole of candy bars, one mole of candy bars, it would actually mean that they have 6.02, 10 to the power 23 candy bars. Nobody has this many candy bars, but I'm just trying to explain the concept or the use of this terminology. Now, in reality, we would say one mole of oxygen atoms. And yes, we might have oxygen atoms in this room and this many oxygen atoms in this room because atoms are very, very small. And it's, they're so small that it won't take much of uh, space to have this many oxygen atoms in a given room. By, by the way, in a room, you won't have oxygen atoms. In a room, you would have oxygen molecules, O2. And we could have this many molecules as well. So this terminology, the mole terminology, is more suitable at an atomic level. That's why we use this terminology for atoms. If I say I have a mole of water, one mole of water, I would say I have this many molecules of water. This is what I'm trying to say, right? This is the meaning of the terminology of one mole. And now that you know that it actually means something, it's not just a number, it actually means something. And we can convert, we can either say I that you have one mole of water, or you could just say, yeah, I have 
6.02 10 to the power 23 molecules of water. You're talking about the exact same thing. These are equal to each other. However, nobody actually says they have this many molecules of water. You would just say I have a mole. I have 10 grams of water. Maybe you might even say I have um, 10 liters of water. You use other, there are other conventional units that are used. We don't use 6.02 10 to the power 23. But in chemistry, however, we will use the terminology of a mole very frequently. So get comfortable with this. Go through these examples once more and they will make more sense. In the next class, we'll see how do we use the mole terminology in actual practical calculations. I'll catch you in the next class and make note of this and try to get comfortable with this. See you guys later. Bye.